Hey there guys. Suppose this is part two. Golden Goblins versus Poetic Darkness. I'm gonna show the Town Hall 9s in this one. Um, didn't really go through the breakdown in the last bit. I'm just gonna pop something up on the screen. Probably while I'm scrolling this. Uh, it will make a little bit more sense. Crazy War. Uh, three star count again, 37 to 37. And this war was won by 0 0.5 of a percent. A moment of silence. Anyway, let's show some attacks. We will start at the bottom. This is Ronald Madrid. Again, I haven't watched all these. I've sort of picked out some decent army comps. Uh, just gone through some cool bases. PD had some. I don't. I don't know if they're good Town Hall Nine bases or not. I'm pretty detached from Town Hall Nine, but they're definitely different than what we've seen. Quite a few fairly symmetrical bases but with multiple big bomb spots. Uh, the heroes, obviously, on this one, surrounded by storages, but the CC pull is like a one-hog job. So this is the Golem Bowler push. Uh, the jump takes him into that little alley down the centre. Things will get sort of held up in the middle, but they've only got one way they want to go, which is through to these expos. The big bomb spots in this base weren't anywhere near all these sort of nipple pattern defences. And then once he gets to the heroes on the other side, there is quite a lot to deal with. He's got Teslas. Teslas didn't pop on the CC pull. So it's a cool base, interesting base. Certainly a new meta. Ronald Madrid, soccer ball nine, football. Got through this quite quickly. 40 odd seconds of what is pretty much clean up, but he does have a couple of Teslas to deal with all times to it, just to get through it a little quicker. So I haven't heard anything from Poetic Bar Darkness following the war. I would assume that they were gutted. It's just unbelievable to lose by that smaller margin. Uh, the breakdown that I did pop up on the screen earlier would say something along the lines that they they had a they had an advantage town hall wise, but more that I think pretty much all their nines were max max heroes. Definitely, they had a defensive advantage on most of the 11s. I think quite a few of our 11s are fairly light. Um, not really to take anything away from them. But I would say this is the first, probably, I think the first of the three wars where they definitely probably be kicking themselves. I know GG had a fair advantage in the last one, or IP, I can't remember which one was first. So this is Juggernaut. Jug loves a Laloon. Always has a queen walk. Always looking to get the CC and at least one air defense, possibly two. The CC of death goes down. Poison spell. The wall breakers give the queen access to that second air defense. King's gonna go for a little stroll. Around the outside of the base, doesn't have a jump spell, so the wall breakers will push the king in. If you look, we're at 40%, half the base is wrecked. There's two air defenses left, both sweepers and the queen still up. And the king does go down before getting to the enemy queen. The whizzies might finish her off here. Nope. So it's going to be queen on queen. 
Queen still has the ability. The air portion has started. It's got to haste into that Wizzy Tower at three o'clock. Wizzy Tower is sort of one of the most dangerous things for these attacks. I assume most of the people that watch my videos are fairly war seasoned. I probably just shouldn't even talk over these, but whatever. All his loons on that last Wizzy Tower, last hound pops. And there's nothing but cannons left. And this base is wrecked. Both sides of the nines in this war performed quite well. Um, we are on a bit of a lockdown for this, so I didn't get to see all that much of it. This is Killing Craze on the best Town Hall 9 in the game. Self-proclaimed Avenger is the best Town Hall 9 in the game. His base is about to get looned. So killing craze, golem, three hounds, 16 loons, no healers to be seen, so it should be a fairly interesting attack. Golem onto a mortar, a few whizzies down just to funnel. Those wall breakers just get to that corner. It's going to push the golem in towards the first air defense. I have not watched this one. But I was always going to show Avengers base. King's in. No jump spells. So this is just going to be a mad push into the enemy queen and the enemy CC. Poison to slow all that down. King ability. And a rage spell. That baby dragon's been a bit of a pain in the ass. Regardless, the air portion of this has started. So I think that was two hounds in on the... Air defense around nine o'clock. Couple of hay spells to push these loons through the base. Grounded expo not helping the cause. And a haste. Plus a heal. And everything bunching up but in the right area. A few back end loons for that last archer tower at three o'clock. And this pretty much looks like it's over. Tesla, I do believe, popped the last hand. This is like a minute of cleanup. Loads of pops, but none of the big storage is taken care of, as there is no walk, no sort of early cleaning. To be fair, I like that base. Not sure how many hits these took. 29 next. Skip a few. There wasn't too many dips in this war. I say that. It probably was, but... There wasn't a mass amount of dips on Town Hall 9s. This is Coco. Coco says hello to Crystal. Coco's a very... Charismatic GG member. He is about to do a queen walk. I seem to have chosen quite a few air attacks. This wasn't actually on purpose this time. I think these were just the the people that shouted out, said show me. So again, easy pull on the CC. CC next to the heroes, sort of at three o'clock. I'm not sure about off central CCs, I suppose you still got to pull it and deal with it, but it just seems easy with like one hog or a giant. So Coco's king going for a stroll up north seems to be on his own, which would imply that maybe wasn't meant to happen, but he's going to break in and head towards that air defense. Queen's going to get a rage spell to help push through these whizzy towers. She's got a jump. Always like a jumped queen walk. King didn't make it to that air defense. And the queen's going to have to take on the enemy queen all on her lonesome. 
I reckon the king was supposed to go in with her. Either way, he's got hounds in. There's a haste down. He's really got to push through to get these Teslas. It's a massive Tesla farm there. The loons are going to get through it relatively unscathed with the help of some pups. At this point, he's only got one hand left. There's three loons in the bag. And I should have watched this one first. This is looking like it might be quite close. So the enemy queen has no health. She might die to splash damage here in a second. The last three loons come in to take out that archer tower. I think it's going to be pups that get the enemy queen. That was tight. If she'd have stayed up, had she been half health, this might not have went quite as well as it did. Crystal would be proud. Apparently whoever Crystal is says I sound like I'm always asleep. This is not true. Let's watch the great John. There's quite a few YouTubers out there that sing and dance around like a clown. I, I don't know. I'm fairly enthusiastic about this game, but if it doesn't come across... You still seem to be here, and I thank you for that. So the Great John Queen Walk. This is 20 loons. One hound, possibly a hand in the CC. Three rage spells, so it looks like the Queen Walk's going to make up a big portion of this attack. Only one haste to jump, one poison. Queen should be able to get to at least two of these air defenses. Interesting base design with all four lined up like that and the expos sort of on the northern bit of the base. Heroes are protected by every heavy structure and some mortars. I say I think Poetic Darkness in all fairness to them do have some of the best Town Hall 9s going at the moment and I reckon they've got they must have a bunch of base builders because though we've warred them a few times they always have interesting new looking bases and they're never easy so queen needs the ability to get through these balks and this baby dragon the poison's helping there's the jump spell that is going to take the queen into that last, well, second to last sweeper. And that rage is probably going to push us through the CC and even give access to one more air defense. She might just go for the enemy queen. Has not dropped his king yet. King's probably going to be on trash. Clean up. These surgical loons. He had a pile of them come in from sort of nine o'clock. Mortars don't really do much to loons. I like the deploy, one on each. He's going to finish this attack with probably 15 of his 20 loons. Good cleanup everywhere. Has one in the bag that he's probably forgotten about. So I'll do one more video. I'll show a few of the tens. I think I'm going to have to show her a dip in the next video just to let anyone see who hasn't already seen the hero miner. I'll see you guys soon.